Hi, my name is Stella Metzavas, and today we're going to talk about nutrients absorbed by the large intestine. Are you ready for some Digestion 101 info? I thought you might be. Your large intestine is one of the last stops digestive food material makes before exiting your body. While the small intestine is generally considered the digestive organ that absorbs the most nutrients, the large intestine does absorb some nutrients while also removing water and absorbs wastes. Fiber. Fiber is a form of carbohydrate that remains largely undigested in your small intestine because it takes longer than most nutrient forms to digest. However, your large intestine is home to over 700 species of bacteria that can digest some forms of fiber in a way that your small intestine cannot. Fibers that can be digested include pectins, which are found in foods such as apples and citrus fruits. Here's a quick fact about fiber. Fiber is responsible for the absorption and attracting water as it moves through your digestive system. Your colon, which is the major portion of your large intestine, is responsible for absorbing this water back into your body. Another component of your large intestine is the vitamin production. The large intestine contains bacteria that actually interact with undigested food material to produce needed vitamins for your body. For example, the bacteria in your large intestine works to create vitamin K, which is necessary for blood clotting. If you do not have enough of this vitamin, you are more likely to experience bruising and excessive bleeding. The large intestine also absorbs B vitamins like B12, thiamine, and riboflavin. Two key factors to keeping your large intestine healthy. Number one, hydrate with clean filtered water. You need a lot of water for that large intestine. And number two, make sure you're getting enough fiber through vegetables and fruits.